Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 121, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords. And uh, if you remember, at the end of the last episode, we finished up in the courtyard outside the Jedi Enclave on Dantooine, and we were getting ready to go in and shake some things up. Uh, after the live stream last week and before this one, I did go back to the Ebon Hawk because I wanted to upgrade a couple of things, you know, since I'd picked up some upgrades. Be nice to actually use them. And apparently there's not a workbench to be found for lover money anywhere else on Dantooine also. <sighs> okay. So, and the reason why I wanted to bring that up is, is I've got my main character's double-bladed lightsaber up. And if you remember, a while back we picked up this named crystal. This crystal that has bonded with us. And you see the Anon Junior crystal gives an attack plus two, plus four dex, plus three strength, plus five wisdom, and, and an extra plus three damage uh, light side. And it's got a couple other bonuses, like somewhere in there should be a... a yeah, anyway... Yeah, a uh, plus seven versus dark side characters. All right. Sounds great. Here's the thing. Those stats depend on what level you acquire the crystal at. And whether it is white, gray, or black depends on your alignment. So I got those stats because I was level... Uh, where, where is it again? Uh, plus three strength, four dex, three strength, four dex. Yeah, so because I was at or above level 24, but not quite level 27, that's why I got the stat range that I got. If I had done Dantooine first instead of Nar Shaddaa, um, then I would have picked it up earlier and I would have had lower level stats. Like, you know, if you pick it up at level 15, it's only a plus two strength and plus two dexterity and plus three wisdom and so on and so forth. Uh, <clears throat> the nice thing is, is that if you talk to Kriya after you've gained enough levels or your alignment has shifted enough, she can refocus the crystal for you and make sure that it is at the new level appropriate adjusted stats and alignment appropriate adjusted stats. Because again, I got a bump in strength, wisdom, dex, and some of the other stuff because I am light side. If, if my alignment is sufficiently gray in that mushy middle, I get a bump to strength, dexterity, constitution, wisdom, and charisma. It's a smaller bump, but it goes across the board. And you get an attack modifier and some force resistance instead of the bonuses versus, uh, or the light side bonuses and the uh, damage bonuses and the chance to uh, slow them for however many seconds, depending on how high a level you are. Likewise, if I went sufficiently dark side um, then I would be getting a bump to strength, dex, and charisma instead of wisdom and I would have a chance to knock down instead of stun and I'd get a dark side damage bonus and a bonus damage on criticals as opposed to the light side bonus so <clears throat> all that to say that the stats on your named crystal will vary depending on your alignment and your level. So when I get to level 27, um, so right now I am uh, level 25. So if I get another two levels between now and before I finish Dantooine, I'll explain why that's important in a second, then I can go talk to Korea and I'll all the stat bumps will go up by one and it'll be awesome. The cap is at level 33, which seems odd because 
Last I checked, the game only lets you go to level 30. So I, I, I don't know why they put a, a uh, cap on the crystal where the, the best you could get out of it is at level 33. Um, the reason why I really need to make sure this happens before the end of Dantooine is once I trigger the final quest line, Korea will no longer be in my party. And since you have to talk to her to refocus the crystal, it means any levels I get after Dantooine, I won't be able to refocus it. So I'm pretty close. I just need another 5,000. Uh, yeah, fi I just need another 5,000 XP. And I'll get at least one more level. Uh, tw so that's 23, 24. Wait. Oh, okay. So I, I might not be able to get up to level 27 in time before that happens. So I don't know. We'll see how that goes. Uh, in the Steam Workshop is a mod that adds to the workbench the ability to refocus the crystal so you can continue to do that after she has left your party. And the mod author's assumption was that you are sufficiently Jedi by this point that you should be able to refocus it yourself. It is your crystal. It has bonded with you. Why do you need Korea to help you refocus it? I don't know. I kind of wish I kind of wish that um the devs had set it to either automatically level up as you level up or allow you to use the workbench to refocus it. That's the way things go. I don't think I'm going to install that mod because, again, other than the restored content mod, I'm trying to keep this as close to stock as I can. And the uh, restored content's all I, uh, the only addition I put in for obvious reasons that I explained 21 weeks ago. All right. <clears throat> now that that's all done, let's uh, let's head back out of the Ebon Hawk. Let's make our way back to. Uh, the Jedi Enclave, and who do, I didn't mean to click on that. Okay, who do I want on my party? Um, hmm. I'm, you know what, the Mandalore is a good person to have. And I got a funny feeling I may, I, I need, let me go ahead and take either the Handmaiden or Korea. Because I want somebody who's got a lot of levels of Jedi. I could take visas, I, uh, except she, she dies too quickly. She takes too much damage for me. She's a glass cannon. But I definitely want one of my more Jedi-centric characters. Although, I may need I may need somebody with all the repair skills and whatnot. So yeah, you know that settles it. Let me take Beodor, Uh, because he is my skills guy. And any time that I that I might need, you know, something hacked, broken, repaired, or whatever, he's the man to make it happen. All right. Let's uh let's make our way back over to the Enclave and then we'll go from there. Uh, do I remember the way? I gotta remember which button's the map button. All right, yeah, I need to go to that Enclave courtyard over on the west side. So how are you guys doing? <laughs> I. Uh, I meant to I meant to do the sprint and then I realized that uh, that wouldn't be helpful because I wanted to explain the whole thing about the the crystal and uh, it's kind of hard to do that if uh, if you don't have your people there or if you don't have the the workbench up I mean I guess technically I could have just brought t3 with me because he it, it's easy to forget t3 your handy dandy droid 
uh, can serve as a bench for upgrading stuff in the field. I forgot it. That's why I had to run all the way back to do the upgrades. You can't craft things with them, so you can't use them to make armor enhancements or stuff like that. But if you need to, to swap out a lightsaber crystal or a blaster power pack or something like that, uh, you can use him as a bench for those purposes. Yeah, good to know. Things worth remembering. All right, let me go ahead and... No, I haven't done anything of any significance since the last save. Let me save so I don't have to keep running if things go squirrely. Oh! Oh, hello. I almost forgot about you guys. You seem awfully familiar. I still need to take care of you. We'll get to that. <clears throat> you have caused us to expenditure a great deal of effort to find you, Jedi. Yeah, no I'm hoping you're going to expend some XP Let for me, too. Proceed to facilitate communications. <laughs> Threat. Come with us without resistance, Jedi. Or you will come with us in pain. Yeah. <laughs> I, I feel like I need a Clint Eastwood-style Western music to play in the background on this one with our uh, trio, our two trios uh, doing their standoff. So who's the good, who's the bad, and who's the ugly in my crew? I can't tell with Mandalore. He's always got the, the, the helmet on. I know, I know. This is the way. All right, let's uh, destroy droid. Switch to melee. Destroy droid again. And that'll give me a chance to cue uh, up the flurry. System's failing, master. Oh. System's failing, master. This System's uh. Failing, wow. Well, that got easier. Huh. Okay. That ain't so tough anymore. <laughs> Alright. Uh, I see parts and parts and more parts as soon as I can get uh, over to a workbench. Alright. Oh, that's it. Only the one guy has stuff for me. Alright. I'm going to walk down this way to clear out a couple of critters and explain one small thing, but first... There we go. Stun him. Get it in there. Take him down. Come on, do the wave. Do the wave. There we go. He's only stunned. Oh, I guess the uh, regen's got that all worked up, so let's run in with that. That's it. Soften him up. Oh. Sorry. I wasn't expecting him to run all the way up there. <laughs> there we go. Okay. So that's cleared out mostly for later. If you remember this... In the first Knights of the Old Republic game, this entrance here was the way into the main enclave where you met with uh, Discount Yoda and uh, Cranky Old Dude and I forget the third master. He was that important. Um, right now, it's just a, a locked, caved-in door that I'm pretty sure we'll be able to get to later. Hint, hint, nudge, nudge. I'm just paranoid about stuff crashing on me because it's done it just often enough to be frustrating. And we go this way, and we get... Oh, oops, I meant to put my lightsaber away. Who are we missing? We're one off. We're missing Joran. I don't see Joran. That runt of a cat out. Oh, Joran. That guy that Did I need to talk to about the stolen the uh, equipment. Hmm. Convenient, that. 
What do you want? <laughs> what do you want? Talking to me like that. Do you see the guys I got backing me up? Alright. Um I'm head of the ruins of the Enclave. What's the problem? I want <laughs> I want you out of my way. Now. No. Uh what's the problem? I managed to get this I'm trying to play nice. salvages to work together. Then we get two rooms into the sub level, and we get swarmed by Legrex, and even then we fight our way out. But of course, the only one that managed to grab the salvage is still in there. Oh, of course. I don't even know why I bothered. So, uh, how, how much salvage does he have on him? You know, what's it worth? Oh, wait, no, I'm not playing that kind of Jedi. Uh, where is he? I might be able to save him. I'm not going to tell you that. Ugh. If you do rescue him, you'll just have to claim on the salvage. Jedi artifacts are rare enough these days without some newcomer coming in. So stay out of it, and we won't have a problem. <laughs> okay. Yeah, you going back for him? Are you kidding? Of course we aren't. He's on oh. his own. I only wish he didn't have the salvage on him. Now, Seriously. If you don't mind, we're going With friends like you. you can't eavesdrop on us and get down At least to my party business. won't leave me behind. So, that's what we got to work with. The guy that we were looking for at the camp previously is down here in the uh, sub-level. And he has all the salvage. Fancy that. To the Enclave sub-level. Um, and honestly, I don't remember the Enclave sub-level looking like this in uh, the first Knights of the Old Republic. So I think they might have taken a few liberties with this go-round. Journal entry added XP. Oh, well, maybe not. Maybe not. What is our journal entry? Thief catching. Uh, nope. Nope, nope. Okay. Okay. I don't see a new journal entry, but okay. All right, guys. Be on your guard. Oh, wait. No, maybe that did... Maybe they did keep to the map, and I'm just misremembering, because I do... Mm. No? There should be no loot? I, I feel like there should be loot there. Um, What's going on? Bomb technician, do your thing. Is that it? Because I don't, I don't want to, you know. Okay. A deadly laggard. A locked door. Oh, never mind. He's not going to give me a chance to, to figure things out. Let's uh, do the wave. And start slicing in, huh? Oh, he's saved against the wave. Hmm, I may have to try the stasis field on him then. Ooh, ooh, is he lootable? No, he's not lootable. Of course not. Alright, uh, let's try this way first. Yeah, I don't... I don't remember the sub-level looking like this when last I was here. Maybe they did some remodeling between uh, the first Knights of the Old Republic and now. I'm pretty sure I would have remembered a fair amount of this. Okay, who am I kidding? It's me. I wouldn't have remembered. Half the time I can't remember the episode number I just read off of the rundown. Nope, nothing there. I feel like there should be lootables there. But there's not. Alright, um... Oh! Hello! Who wants to die first? Who wants to die first? Such a Mandalorian. Seriously? You guys just stood back there, said witty things, and that was about it? Oh. Hang on. We got one more to deal with. No, he didn't save that one. Or did he? Yeah, it looks like he did. Looks like it doesn't matter for long. Oh! 
Oh, there's another. Who unlocked the door? Guys, seriously. This... Do you, do you want Lagrix? Because this is how you get Lagrix. No, that, that line doesn't work as well here. How do you like that? Forget the how do you... Oh. I uh, hear the sound of leveling. Oh, oh, oh. Hello. My leg Rex. You've killed him. Wait, my what? Pets. Uh the what? Are you the thief? I'm not a thief. People give to the Jedi in exchange for service. They were just giving. Um Pets are killing people. They only attack the bad people. Uh, the salvagers, the thieves. This place is for Jedi. They aren't Jedi. They why why do I feel like you're a couple of crystals short of a lightsaber? Or is this another case of, uh, you know, you're more likely to get cut by a dull lightsaber than you are a sharp one? <laughs> Sorry. All right. Um... I have permission. All right, I sense you. Sure, let's go with the awareness check. I sense you have a connection to the Force. I am a Padawan, and one day, one day I will learn enough to be a Jedi. Uh, <laughs> how did a Padawan... Yeah, I'm not going to do the Lost Cause, because I'm not playing that kind of Jedi. So how did a Padawan wind up here? I was studying here when Darth Malak and the Sith came. Oh. I was outside the Enclave when my master left me at the Madalay Estate. Shen protected me. But the Sith came, asking questions. All the Madalays died. But I hid. Even when the estate was burning, I hid. So oh. I hide. I'm hiding until my master returns. Um. You need to sit down. Because I have news for you. And it's going to make you sad. Uh, I was a Jedi once too. And hopefully will be again. Or these are difficult times. I was a Jedi once as well. Hmm. Let's try the second one. We're all so broken. Things have Ain't that the so truth? Wrong. Please tell me there are masters left that can teach. All right, the Jedi are all dead. Their ways were weak. No, uh, there's no one left to teach anywhere. You're on your own, kid. No, there are Jedi around. They're just in hiding. Uh, well, let's mention Vruk. Maybe she knows something about that. I remember him. I sent my leg rex to get him to leave. But he just made my pets... stop. I was going to talk to him, but the mercenaries came for him. They never come down here. Oh. I was surprised and hid. There was a big fight. They said they were going to take him someplace. Let me try to remember. The Kinrath oh. cave. Yes, I guess we're headed back to the said. crystal cave after all. About stealing. Wait, what? I I know that that was wrong. I'll stop. I was just trying to get enough credits to eat. But I'll think of something else. Something that doesn't hurt anyone. Uh, you won't bother anyone again ever? No. Uh, let's... I don't like either of those options. Where's my third option? I'm a Jedi. I could use any artifacts that you found. I found some things. I don't know how to use them. Clearly. Here, you can have them. I had a holocron, but it said terrible things. I threw it far Wait, away. Wait, what? Uh... What did it say? It told me the Jedi were no more. That I needed to survive and do anything to protect my home. <laughs> what are you going to do now? Where is the holocron now? <laughs> Those sound like wise lessons. Uh, listen to your master's lessons, not the holocron. The holocron was more forceful the longer I learned. Yeah. It trained me. Where is the holocron now? I threw it into the ruins. I, I went back to find it, but the salvagers stole it. It was my only teacher. Uh, so you're too weak to be allowed to live. No. Uh, what are you going to do now? I, I don't know. 
I'll try to find a master to teach me. There have to be some left. I'm not going to use the force until I find one. So much has gone wrong. Should I feel bad that I feel better? But I still need to find a master. The lessons I learned, I think I need to unlearn uh, not them. Not think. You need to unlearn them. Oh, I can't, I can't say, like, you know, go to Atris or... Here's a dime, kid. Call, call someone who cares. No. May the force be with and you. also with you. Thank you. Okay. Ooh. Got a lightsaber and an emitter and some XP and a level. Okay, so you found the thief. Alright, so then what about the, the other guy? I thought the other guy was one of the... Alright. Hmm. The former Padawan. Okay, no, that was just letting me know that we gotta go to the, the plains where it mostly rains and no wait no that's in Spain all right let us level up real quick because the faster I can get to level 27 I can at least get one more bump out of that named crystal before this is done okay so skills we're gonna go pretty much the same treat injury security persuade computer use and I'll put one more in stealth uh, okay Powers, because I have the power. Okay, maybe I just have a really fancy sword. <laughs> All right, force aura might be nice to have handy. Uh, force resistance. We haven't been running into enough force users for force resistance to make sense but I'm beginning to wonder if we're reaching the point where having force immunity might not be a bad thing and I need to get force resistance first like I might need force immunity for the the final go round so let me go ahead and do the force resistance now and at the next level I'll get force immunity and uh because that that might come in handy all right, so she's gone. What other, what other things have been left behind for a a sad Padawan to uh, find? Well, we got a Footlocker that has a security tunneler. We got bodies that should be lootable, but aren't. And then we got this hallway here. Which has nothing of... Oh, never mind. It has a footlocker. What's in this footlocker? Another set of Osus Keeper robes, which could be good. 65 bucks, which I guess is okay. And a poison dart. I think the Osus Keeper robes is what I'm wearing right now. Yeah. Yeah, so basically I, I need to see if there's anybody else who uh, would benefit from having those robes. And I think Korea might be the only other one. Although, yeah. Because I think she's the only other Jedi that's actually wearing robes and not some sort of armor. Either the, the Jedi armor like I used to wear or uh, just straight up armor because... I like defense. I like my minions to survive. They're more useful that way. Oh, I just noticed that, uh... Oh, there we go. I thought this seemed like it was going a little a little long. <laughs> my uh, little timer there was uh, off. So, here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to insert a little cut, take a very short break, and then uh, for the live stream, I'll be right back. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, 
You can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, scopes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a little value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia or opened your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're, uh, we're going to cut out, have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.